Food and life such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna start doing this now. So, if you guys suggest something and you get the most likes on your comment, I'm gonna do it the next day. How about that, guys? It's the people's choice. Sorry if I said your name wrong, my brother. Bahavia Talvar suggested me, please do Mr. Bean Room 426 Feast. It consists of rotisserie chicken sausage, Caesar salad, hash brown, and some oysters. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Mr. Bean Room 426 Feast ever. Don't link. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken, nice simple easy recipe. 10 pieces of drumstick here. Do this, one tablespoon of seasoning salt. I watched the episode again guys and I looked at the chicken and the chicken kind of just looks like a regular seasoning. To this, one tablespoon of paprika. And I got a teaspoon of hot chili powder. Not too much guys. And lastly, three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix this all in. Mix this all in very well. And we're gonna let this marinate for about I don't know, one hour guys, just one hour because I ain't got no time. <laughs> one hour in, some may say, Quan, I bet you didn't even marinate that for an hour. Whoever said that, you are correct, my friend. You are correct. <laughs> I got no time. So, 420, preheated oven. I got sausage, I got hash brown, I got tomato here, or sliced tomato, in under there. So I'm just gonna bake this for about 20 to 35 minutes, guys. All right, next on the list, five jumbo oysters here. So, in the video, Mr. Bean ate raw old oyster. So I couldn't find old oyster, but I found some raw oysters. But guys, I cannot eat these raw just because the seller there told me that I have to cook these because of, I think it was neuro, neurovirus and other pathogen. So I have to cook this guys. So hopefully you guys forgive me. So I washed this, cleaned this, scrubbed this. I'm just gonna throw into my little baking sheet here with some parchment. I'm gonna show you how to make some really good Delicious baked oyster, guys. Just follow along, all right? <laughs> and throw these oysters into the oven at 450 for about eight to 10 minutes, guys. As we wait, let's just make a nice, beautiful soy base to this. So I got one tablespoon of olive oil here. Do this, one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of fresh ginger, grated in. Soy sauce going in. So the soy sauce I'm using is called Maggie seasoning. I got one tablespoon of sugar in. All right, we're just waiting for the oysters to be done. So we're just gonna start plating. So, Caesar salad. Freshly cut, freshly washed. <laughs> okay, got some cheese here. Go Caesar dressing. Then we go croutons. Dump the whole bag in. I love croutons. Got a big bowl of fruit here on the side. Push you guys over here. So for the sausage and hash browns and tomatoes, I've seen a bed of watercress on the ground there or on the table there. So I'm gonna throw down some watercress. You guys can check the episode if you guys want. There is watercress there, I swear. <laughs> Like corn, what do you do? Like a little sausage. Tomatoes. Hash browns in the back. I didn't see any hash browns there, but this was optional, so. Why not? Hash browns. You know what? I'm gonna drop down some watercress too. Just gonna fill the plate up a bit. Some sticks. Time to shock these oysters, so. Once you bake them guys, it should be pretty easy to open them because they open up. So, you just have to find a opening, <laughs> which I don't know where, over here probably. Yep, there it is. Because when you look at it guys, look at all the scales in there. So you have to be kind of precise on where the opening is. Cut that open. Ow. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, see? The opening's probably right there where it just gassed out. Slit this up. There you go. Pop this open. Last touches. Our beautiful oyster. Our baked oyster. Ow. Last touches, Asian style. I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of the soy sauce here on each. Not so much, guys. Throw some lime there. I don't have any lemon, guys, so lime will do. And there it is, guys. Shout out to all the Mr. Bean lover out there. This is Mr. Bean, room 426, feast. You got your sausage, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. You got your oysters, raw oysters actually. <laughs> just make, just pretend, right? Yeah. You got your sausage, hash browns, watercress, tomato, roasted chicken. Follow up with a Caesar salad and a bowl of fruit, guys. Nice, simple, easy feast. When are you guys gonna come by and grab some? Quick time, guys. Without further ado, guys, take a bite of this. Quick time, guys. Two double fists. Quick time. Let's get it. Nice. Pump this. This is why I seen what Mr. Bean did. I'm gonna do the same. It's delicious. Simple seasoning. Mmm. It's not for fun. Simple, easy. Mmm. Tasty flavors. That's tasty. That's very tasty. Alright, next sausage. Alright, this is how he ate it, okay, guys? Buy this quick time. Let's got it. Nice, pump this. <laughs> The meal, the time, the time. Mm. The hash brown. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Just like the English breakfast, well, pretty much. Tastes exactly like it. Mm. Caesar salad. I didn't see him eat Caesar salad. But I did see him eat this. Celery stick. Quick time. Let's got it. Nice. Pump for this. You can't go wrong. You can't. Right. I think I put too much Caesar salad on this, or Caesar dressing on this.
way too much. All right. Caesar salad. Good time. Let's go. Yes. Pump for this. Way too much dressing. Oyster time. So, you got your oyster here with your Asian seasoning on there. <laughs> Louisiana hot sauce, just a tad bit. Time guys. Oyster, my way. It's good. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. You know what I shouldn't done? Since I cooked it, <laughs> put it on ice. It has kind of a a weird cold taste that I don't like. I should have kept it off the ice. But still tastes good. Another chicken here. Quick time. He's got it. Nice. Pop this. Mmm. I remember the first time I ever watched Mr. Bean. I was a little confused about the setting. Because I didn't know about, um, is it England? Everything was different there. From his car, to the streets, to the people. I was just confused. I don't know where he went for some reason. I don't know why. I was just confused. All I remember, it was a funny show. <laughs> I even bought a movie about him. It was a movie about... It was a movie about a painting that he ruined. And then he accidentally sneezed on it. I forgot what movie it was, but I really enjoyed it. He sneezed on the painting and he tried to rip it off. Not rip it off, wipe it off. Mm. Then you end up smudging the whole painting. And that was a movie. But I know after watching that movie, I fell in love eating M&M's. Because in that show, he ate a lot of M&M's in that movie. This bad boy here. Another bite of this. Quick time. Let's go. Yes. Pump for this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna cool it down on the soy sauce next time. It's a little salty. This is what I don't want now. So, a persimmon. If you guys have not ever tried a persimmon before, you guys are missing out. You guys definitely are missing out. It's persimmon season. I can't really taste, I mean, not taste, I can't really explain the taste. You okay, guys see that? It was focusing on this side. I don't know why. Maybe there's a ghost tag there. Guys, quick time. You guys got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mmm, so sweet. I can't even explain it. Mmm. The taste on this. Mmm. It's juicy. <laughs> I can't even explain it. I 
can't compare it to any fruit. Oh man. I just can't explain it. It's like honey, <laughs> iron on. Oh man, a juicy honey, great crispiness, texture. -y. Mm. Fruit right here. I love the textures on this. Mmm. That's amazing. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your food and life's a beautiful things. Shake or a bomb one. Let's share this. Peace out.